So right now I am showing you my boxed Adam 12 patrol car, Cox Adam 12 patrol car. Brand new in the box. This was originally sealed when I purchased it. And I opened it to see what was actually in the box. And I will tell you that I was not disappointed. Well, I though I was disappointed, but I'm showing you everything that came in it and what I did to make sure she was solid. Again, raw, unedited videos. This is the box. One of the best boxes I've ever encountered. I opened the slab that was damaged to prevent, oof, again, I need four hands. Bottom of the box, a little bit of a ridge. Top of the box. Uh, definitely took a shot to the box. This was all prior to me receiving it. This is how I purchased it, and that's why I opened this end. Because it shot to the top of the box here. But the rest of the box. Probably one of the best boxes I've ever seen. Fireworks going off behind me for unknown reasons. And here's the car sitting on the insert. When I originally purchased this vehicle, there were a couple issues. All those issues have been corrected. And I'm trying not to touch the car too much with my greasy ass fingers. But back bumper was a little loose and it's still a little loose but I'm oh, can I get in there oh. bumper's still a little loose but I got rid of the cox glue that they did to hold the bumper in and I will honestly tell you that by the time you get the car and open it, that that bumper may be loose in the box. The other issue I had was the worm gear being rusted. I merely replaced that with a brand new Adam 12 worm gear. That motor is brand new, the fuel tank is brand new, everything on this car is brand new, and it is still sealed in the box. Somehow I'm gonna to get to that flipper to show you that I have freed the motor. This is the parts package, though I'm not impressed with the way Cox did this. But this must have been a later version where they put all of the loose items 
in one bag. The actual stickers are between the two wrenches. The wrench right there shows a little bit of pitting, but everything is in the bag. Includes a stand in case you want to display this car. The actual buy more brochure, what I consider the buy more. The warranty card. The decal application instructions and the parts instructions, along with a perfect, perfect operation manual. There's a slight fingerprint on it, right about there. Most of it rubbed off. Absolutely, positively the best instruction manual you will ever come across. Woo! Perfectly white, no fuel, no gunked up, no yellowing, nothing of the nature. with the top insert. That was never punched out for some reason. That should have been punched out to make sure the car was secure. You'll notice that there's slight separation from the outer cardboard to the inner cardboard. I believe that was due to a lack of Lack of securing this in a moisture proof area. Yeah, all of the smooth cardboard is slightly, well, slightly, fully separated from original cardboard crazing to the white paint which is normal with these cars however this is brand new in the box the motive that was originally slightly seized up and you can refer to that I apologize. Oh, there goes the bumper. Oh. The motor was slightly seized up. Due to that moisture. But I took the firewall off. Sprayed a little oil in there. And now... The motor absolutely turns without issue. This is a fully operational Cox Adam 12 police car. All brand new parts. The only thing missing is the fuel line. And I restuck sticker to the cardboard and that's all original there and there's the rear bumper rear bumper because I took it was off off kilter for lack of a better term and it was because of the 
glue that Cox put on. So it's a little, it's, it's going to be loose. But none of the Cox glue is there anymore, which was keeping it kicked out. And you can refer to all that on my original Holy Grail purchase. Um, what I thought was a Holy Grail. <laughs> but there she is. Brand new in the box. Cox Island 12 police car. Appreciate all you. And if you have any questions, concerns, give me a holler. Thank you.